a few words on consciousness and vibration. I know, hippie stuff, right? But check the new Mindbeats app, free and clear. Pretty rad. Consciousness and vibration are probably two words you wouldn't have considered or even heard of just a few years ago. But because of the global events that we've been subjected to, people around the world now understand that there are systems in place that are specifically designed to control the way their mind operates, dictate their actions, and control every aspect of their lives. How would we define consciousness? Consciousness can be defined as a state of awareness by the mind of itself and the world, or an awareness and perception of something by a person or a state of being awake and aware of one's surroundings. How about high vibration? Well, high vibration individuals are aware of themselves and how they associate with the external world. They understand that to raise their vibration, they have to avoid emotions that are low vibration. Emotions like anger, shame, fear, and guilt. Through awareness of self, high vibration people can observe things without reacting. They can, they can see things in a new light. And they're able to let things go so that they can achieve higher levels of consciousness. When we read these definitions, we come across a few words that are very important. I call them power words. Words like awareness, perception, awake, light, and self. When was the last time you felt aware, perceptive, awake, or self-reflective? How much time do you spend doing the deep mental work to control the way that your mind operates, the information that you hold within it, and the actions that you take in this world? Do you realize there are people that walk around every day feeling perceptive, self-reflective, awake, and like a shining light in this world? Isn't that how we all want to feel when we get out of bed in the morning? Social media is now full of high vibrational, high consciousness thought leaders. But a lot of people scoff at the subjects of a God connection or self-reflection, human philosophy or self-actualization. A lot of people don't want to discuss the fact that we really are part of a matrix that is putting information in front of us to dictate our actions and control our lives. The way I see it, there are external operators and internal operators. There are people that repeat and there are people that think. Thinkers do the deep physical and mental work it takes to discover truths about themselves. This helps them control the way that they behave and associate with the outside world. Thinkers start inside their own hearts and minds to apply what they've learned to impact those around them. Thinkers are time travelers. They're using their lessons from the past to help dictate and construct their future. Thinkers store their learnings over the course of their lives and even from events that occurred before they were born. And they use these to build a vision for the future and the story they want to write and to inform their decisions in the present. Consistent inward work causes thinkers to be patient, grateful, emotionally consistent, forgiving, self-disciplined, and often inspirational. The responsibility that a thinker takes for the world around them through the decisions that they make gives them a sense of purpose and meaning in their everyday lives. Repeaters take an opposite approach. They start with the information and the programming they receive from the external world, and they use this to inform their decisions and even their emotions. No matter how absurd it gets, no matter how much new information you put in front of a repeater, they are so focused on hanging with the crowd, they are incapable of pursuing truth and changing their minds. Because they aren't doing the deep physical and mental work that it takes to reach higher levels of vibration and consciousness, they end up in a place where anything bad that happens in their lives is somebody else's fault. It's either the fault of the information they received or the actions of another person. This causes them to feel stuck, unforgiving, jealous, emotionally inconsistent, worried, argumentative, and negative. Repeaters usually operate with a victimhood mentality. Their consumption of the constant onslaught of external information makes them feel helpless. So how can we achieve higher levels of consciousness and vibration. But one of the easiest ways to do this is to read the great philosophers. These were people that wrote about human existence long before we had all the distractions that exist today. 
Ancient philosophy possesses a level of thought purity that will never be achieved again. Start with Plato, Socrates, and Aristotle. Secondly, we need to do deep physical work. When we do challenging things like running, weightlifting, sauna work, cold tubs, hiking, and manual labor, we open up the physical pathways that connect to the neural pathways. Deep physical work puts us in a physical state where our mind operates more efficiently and clearly. If we are a sedentary person, we will never be a high vibrational thinker or a high consciousness individual. Thirdly, we have to be honest with ourselves. We have to expect at least as much from ourselves as we do other people. We cannot fall into a victimhood mentality where we blame the information within our minds on the system and where we blame the things that happen to us on other people. We've got to take responsibility for our own actions. Which brings me to the fourth point. We have to stop blaming the outside world for our internal shortcomings. We have to take responsibility for our work ethic, our habits, our mental capacity, how hard we work to make sure that we are pursuing facts, forever acknowledged constant truths, and even the lives that we choose to live. If we want to be a high vibration person, are we willing to read the great philosopher? Do the difficult physical work. Be honest with ourselves and expect as much from ourselves as we do from others. So we can stop blaming the outside world for our internal shortcomings. If we will do those things, we can leave the low vibration emotions of anger, fear, guilt, shame, and worry in the past. And we can live a happier life that has a positive impact on the people we associate with and the world around us. If that's not free and clear, I don't know what is.